Okay, YouTube, we're back. My phone's back, booted up. Um, all right. Now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you what we did. So I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and plug in our trusty USB here. Let's go ahead and do that. Plug this thing in. Let's go ahead and mount this bad boy. Come mount. So now that we're mounted, I'm I'm gonna show you what we did on the computer real quick. Okay, hold on. Set that down. All right. So here's our SD card. Um, now in the folder that says, uh, let's see here, Nandroid, okay? That automatically got created, pretty cool. Up here is our backup. This is what we did. This is our, this is our ROM that we're gonna hold savior to everything. So I suggest making a copy. So what we'll do is, let's go ahead and rename this first, okay? So let's call it, just whatever you want to call it. I usually like to call my OEM one, like retail one, like retail, retail, and then usually like the date. Retail, backup, and then let's just put 020910. Okay? I just renamed it to that. Now I know what that is. Because that's anytime I boot up in recovery mode and I want to restore ROM or install ROM. I'm going to be able to see that one and be able to di uh, differentiate between all that BDS 1200050, all that crazy stuff. So we're going to go ahead and let's just drag this to the desktop. Boom. Now I just made a copy of that. It's, it's copying right over. It's a pretty big file, 205 megabytes. Um, should take about 20 seconds to copy. But So now I made a backup um, of, the, of the file. It's on my computer just in case something ever happens. Um, I renamed it to something familiar um, and now we're going to go ahead and go back to the phone and we're going to update our um, uh, recovery tool to the latest version. Alright, so one second. Alright, so let's go ahead and unplug this. Actually, before we do that, I missed one thing. We're going to uh, do one more thing with the phone. Remember when we downloaded... Um, the files to our desktop, one of them was recovery. This one right here, recovery uh, 99.2b.img. Well, we need to copy that to our root of our SD card. Okay? I obviously already have it there, so not a big deal. What we're going to do now um, is just copy it over. So let's go ahead and take it, drag it right over. Remember, folks. We're not putting it in any folders. We're not renaming it. We're dragging it to the root of the SD card and letting it fly. Okay? Um, you know, we're going to go ahead and copy and replace. So it's going to copy right over. So there it goes. Boom. And there it is right here. Recovery 0.99.2b.img. It's on the root of our SD card. All right. Now back to the phone. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I almost skipped an important step. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, this is going to be kind of hard for some people, but um, remember that file that we did download? Um, that one was called um, uh, Terminal Emulator. Let's go ahead and open that up. Okay. The first, uh, I know it's kind of kooky to look at. Um, I, I'm not really going to. Uh, I'm not really going to go into uh, detail too much on here because it's going to be kind of hard to read. So once you're in this blue menu, I want you to type in these commands exactly, okay? Don't type anything else in except these commands. So I'm going to set down this phone and show you exactly what to type in. All right. So this is what you're going to want to type in, okay? So type the following commands into terminal emulator. Do not type quotation marks. So please do not type these little bad boys. Don't type the quotation marks. So you can type in SU, enter. Then you're going to type in flash underscore image space recovery space forward slash SD card forward slash recovery dash zero dash, I'm sorry, dash 0.99.2b dot IMG, enter. Then you're going to type in reboot space recovery, enter. That's going to automatically reboot your phone. So in recovery mode. So as soon as you guys type that in, um, it's going to boot you in recovery mode. And then I'll show you what to do from there. Be right back. 
Okay, YouTube, we're back. Um, we just got done with um, Terminal Emulator. Um, we just rebooted in recovery mode. We used that reboot space recovery enter command, and that got us here without having to, you know, um, hold down the X key and the power button. Real easy, simple to use. Um, now we're in here. Okay, it still looks the same, but one certain difference. We are now updated to the latest version, 0.99.2b or uh, pretty much the version that will work for all the ROMs that are being released out today. Um, anyway, so uh, just a quick recap. What we did is we created an Android backup. What that means is um, you always want to do that before you install a ROM, um, or at least once when you're happy with your phone uh, right out of the box um, after it's been rooted, you know, nothing else changed on the phone at all. You're going to go ahead and create a backup. Um, that's going to ensure that if you ever install a ROM that you don't like, um, or something happens to your phone or something goes wrong, you can always rest assured that you have that in Android backup just waiting to be able to access. And all you got to do is just click on Backup Restore, come down to here to Advanced Android Restore, then you're going to click on Choose Backup, and um, there it is right there. It's kind of hard to see. Um, yeah, you can't see that, but it says Retail Backup, February 9th, 2010. That's the one that we renamed, obviously. If I were to go ahead and push that enter button right there, it's going to reload my um, old ROM, which is basically the same thing that I have now because I haven't, I haven't installed anything yet. Um, but that's how to actually restore your phone. So in a sense, it's kind of like Windows XP, kind of creates restore points in a sense. That's the best way to describe it, I guess. Um, it, it's a restore point. So if you screw up anything, you can always go, oh, well, I'm restoring back to February 9th, 2010, um, even though it could be June, but hey, so, something's better than nothing, right? 100%, um, I'd say 99 to 100% of the users out there are using the Android backup. Um, I, I do not recommend not backing up your phone because if you are rooted and you do something to uh, cause a software glitch in your phone, um, your warranty will be voided. So please make sure you do a backup because if you do that backup, you're going to erase all the history of what you've been doing with your phone and Verizon will never know. There's even a process to unroot your phone that's just even easier, which I can show you guys later on. Anyways, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Um, uh, please subscribe because I'm going to have another video coming out with that custom ROM that you guys saw in an earlier video. Uh, real neat features with 2.1, multi-touch browsing, multi-touch maps, multi-touch gallery, 3D gallery. Um, you're going to have the new um, the launcher, the 2.1 launcher with the 3D scrolling um, app drawer, all kinds of neat features, widgets, stuff like that, new colors. Um, just uh, stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, I'll see you guys in a few. Thanks.